What's up guys, welcome back to another EVE Online video. We're going to be covering an anti-gank tactic for the Jump Freighter. This is going to be um, trying to combat a situation that happens on the last leg of your jump when you jump into low sec and you go to gate into high sec. Um, gankers will attempt to bump you off the gate. It's actually a real problem. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to combat this, which works really, really well. And uh, could kind of give you some idea on, you know, how this uh, whole thing works. So just mechanically, the game mechanic is if you warp zero or you just, you know, jump to gate, you're going to come anywhere between 1300 meters to over 2000 meters from the gate before the system lets you jump. And it's the same if you, you know, you know, just select the gate and jump, and also if you just warp zero and then immediately jump, you know. And anything that's big, like a jump freighter or Oracle or anything like that, as you approach the gate, you're going to slow down considerably. So if they're already on the gate, they're going to be moving into a position that they know you're going to stop out of warp at, and then immediately once you stop out of warp, it's going to throw you off. You're going to throw you out of range to jump, and then, you know, you're going to get tackled. And you're still in the same system as your Sino Alt, probably. So your emergency Sino, unless you have a, a secondary backup, it's not going to be an option. So, you know, say la vie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly what I do to set up my um, high sec uh, connection. And so what I'll do is I'll get into something like a shuttle, right? Getting into something with like covert ops doesn't matter because you're, you're not going to be able to cloak regardless. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and dock here. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to warp zero to the gate that I am looking at going through. You should only have to set this up once since this is going to be on your planned route. If you have multiple routes that you kind of like rotate through, which is usually a good idea, you can go through and set this up on all of your high set connections relatively easily. So right here, we're going to go ahead and just, you know, warp over here. And as you see, we're going to come, even in a shuttle, we're probably going to come like, you know, 13, 1500 from the gate and it would take a little while to actually jump we warped zero so it's not going to automatically jump us so see look i'm like 2,000 meters from the gate and in a jump freighter we've slowed down so much that they're going to be like right here and once you like you know it once the game ticks you out of warp boom you're just going to get you know thrown off so once you're here with the shuttle what we're going to do is we're just going to first i'm going to select the gate and then i'm just going to approach it right i'm going to get really close i'm going to get so close that it's going to like not let me get any closer right which is right about there, right? And then I'm gonna hold down Q. This is your manual movement key. It takes two clicks, right? The first uh, click is gonna be, you know, going horizontally, and then when you click again, that's your vertical axis, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like click here. I'm just gonna double click in there. Do that again. Make sure it gets in there. All right, now we're gonna get in there really deep. We're just gonna get in there as close as we can. We wanna try to get like right inside. We want to try to get right inside that, right next to that bracket, if we can. Super close. There we go. That should be good. And so now we're just going to add location. And then I'm going to name this in a way that it's always going to be on top of my bookmarks. Right there. And so now we're just going to go um, back to station. All right. So now once we're back to station, we switch back to our jump freighter. We're going to go here. We're going to go ahead and align to our nav we just set we're gonna make sure we get three fourths speed that's what we want and it's a good idea too like you already got a sign wall here that's probably chilling station just like you always do when you're jumping you know scout that gate just make sure everything's clear this uh this tactical will give you enough time to actually get through the jump without being bumped and they'll will they'll try to bump you but you're, this is gonna take them by surprise uh for the most part and it's gonna be very difficult too just because even if they know what you're trying to do, um, trying to get smaller ships like tackle and stuff in and around where your nav is placed, they're going to like bump off the gate a little bit. So just, you know, keep using your scout, your Sino as a scout, or if you have a secondary uh, scout for your gate, is uh, even for the other side, it's always a good, good practice. So we're already there. We're going to go, we're going to jump zero. So we're going to go into warp here. 22 AU, no big deal. Now I'll kind of show you what this looks like. I want to. I usually zoom in pretty close, you know, because I want to be able to actually like hit this gate um, as soon as I can without like misclicking or anything like that. And uh, you know, also you're running D scans like that too. So like, you know, once you get like within 14 AU, just start spamming B, um, just so you can see if there's any like newer surprises are coming after you. But really, it shouldn't matter. And as you can see, like I talked about before, when you start approaching the gate. These bigger ships start to slow down really, 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 really fast. And it's like, you know, 
it telegraphs your movements and telegraphs you know, like your direction you way too much so you just kind of have to be mindful of that all right so here we go we're coming in i'm going to select the stargate so you can kind of see the distance that we're going to come in at see how much we slow down if we just did normal warp zero it would have uh put us way out so now we are like right underneath the stargate right we're not 2000 we're not 1300 meters and once you come out of warp once this drops you just go boom you go jump there's no delay even if they bump you you have still a couple seconds before you're out of range to actually hit that jump and there you go simple as this is a uh, this is actually a really good tactic um it makes you know making that high set connection a little bit more tolerable you know helps the anxiety a little bit just with a little planning and a uh, you know carefully placed nav so hope you enjoyed the video try this out if you do let me know in the comments how you know how it, how it was for you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time peace out